Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And what would you say to Photoshop style paint controls inside of Blender? If you say, hell yeah, you're gonna love this video because that's exactly what we've got today. So what we're gonna do is take a look at it hands-on. First, we're gonna go ahead on over to the website and we've got this guy right here. It is Paint System, it is available on Gumroad. It came from Tawan Sunflower. He is both a YouTuber and a content creator. Uh, he released this new free plugin. So you can actually download it uh, completely free from Gumroad. It does require Blender 4.1 or higher. Uh, once you've got it, go ahead, download it. You can install it from disk. Now let's head on back over to our project right here and I'm going to show you this in action. And we're gonna do something a little bit different today. This default cube here, it's going to live, ha. Huh. Actually, no, it's not, it's gonna die. All right, let's create a new one. All right, so here we are, new scene. Uh, and we've got our second iteration of the default cube. So you want to go ahead and install this guy. You do is edit, preferences, go here and uh, drop this down here, install from disk, find the zip file. Once it is there, you will find it installed here. It is called paint system, right? So once it is enabled, all you need to do is hit the N key. You will find it over here in your tool section and you have paint system available right here. So what exactly does this let you do? Well, it enables you to paint on 3D objects in a natural painterly way with Photoshop style layering support. There's actually quite a bit to this guy. It is very cool. So here you got this guy right here. I'm gonna add a group in. Uh, we're gonna set up a material. You can pick which kind over here. We're gonna go with color alpha and okay. So we now have our object ready to paint. With this guy set up, uh, we can now go ahead. We've got our default paper colors. Right now it is white. This is your uh, background layer like so. You can change that out to whichever color you wish. So if we want to have green, we can make it green like so. And boom. There you can see the end result. So our painted object has a green background, or again, we can go back here to that white-ish color. So there is your base layer. And what you're gonna start doing is basically creating layers on top of it. So you got the option over here, add a layer, new image, like so. Uh, and we're gonna call this one paint layer. Call it whatever you want, set it up however size you want. So 1K, 2K, 4K, 8K and go ahead and create it. So now we have our painting layer available right here, and you've got your uh, brush options available for it as well. So you can go up here, uh, so we got our group, like so, we got layers options available over here. If we go into, go into paint mode, we can toggle paint mode over here. Now you can go ahead and you can set up your brushes. You can create your own custom brushes if you wish, or you can press this little button right here and it will bring in a couple of preset brushes. So you click here, you will see those brushes are now available. So obviously you could create your own custom brushes as well. And otherwise over here, we have our typical painting controls like so. So what I could do now is come in here, just color in, color select for our brush and we start painting our object. That's, that's basically it. It basically gives you the ability to do natural sketchy drawing painting uh, directly in 3D on 3D objects like this. So I can go ahead, come down here. I got to add another layer in, um, call it pen penette. Two. Uh, here we got it then. Obviously your layers can be reordered. Uh, so we got this guy here. We'll go switch to that other brush, right? So I'll change out the color a little bit like this. And we go and we're gonna draw this one on top of that other layer like this. And we paint it accordingly. Now this is again, a Photoshop style system. So that means down over here, you actually have control over how these layers interact. So I could make this one a darken layer, or I could have it be a color dodge or so on. So you got a variety of different layer control options available over here, or you do again, mix if you're just doing standard. Uh, you do have uh, clipping options. You also have opacity, which I do believe can actually be animated if you wish. Uh, and then come on over here, you're gonna see a couple of other neat options here, such as this one, you can actually erase the alpha. So of that brush we just worked with, we can actually erase bits of it using that brush over there. Now, if you're wondering how this is actually all being implemented, well, that's kind of the cool thing here. This is actually creating a material for you. When you first set this guy up, uh, it created a new material. Uh, so come on down here, go down here, go to uh, your shader editor right here, and you are going to see 
this new node. So it's implemented as a node right here. So you can work with it with typical geometry node setups if you wish, or oh, sorry, typical shader setup nodes, uh, anything you want here. And there is your input node. It also says that you can actually do this for doing normal painting as well, but I don't actually know where to find that particular node. Probably a user error thing on my behalf, but it kind of gives you an idea of what this plugin is all about. Basically, it's setting up these various different materials for you. Uh, so it's creating these different textures. So if I go over here to the image editor, for example, we have the multiple different uh, textures being created as we paint, a very intuitive and natural way to go. Now, one thing you're gonna definitely wanna do is save your work because none of this is actually saved anywhere until you do so. So you're definitely gonna wanna come in and make that uh, change there as well. So you see here, a number of brush settings are available as well. Uh, once we went into advance over here again, everything that you're setting up, you wanna come out of here, toggle out of paint modes. Again, you wanna add another layer to the mix. Just come down here, add that layer in, new layer, and so, so now if I decided I wanted, uh, so here, uh, let's do a, a quick paint here and we'll make this one, uh, this greenish color. Oh, cause I'm on a race alpha. Uh, okay. Let's come back here. We'll mix that in. So here we've got our last thing here. Again, you do have control over how these work. So it could be a subtraction if you wish here. And again, you do have your traditional layering support so you can switch the height of these things that they're drawing at. A very cool new add-on. Now there are other uh, programs like this for Blender. First and foremost amongst them is probably the Yusu pa UCU Paint or Yusu Paint. I've got no idea actually how you pronounce that. This is one of those things I've been meaning to touch on for ages with the channel and I haven't got to it yet. This is kind of like uh, turning Blender into a substance designer slash painter kind of hybrid. Uh, and this one here instead, what we're looking at today, uh, this paint system is more about like that natural brush approach, kind of mimicking the Photoshop approach. So they kind of give you end results that are different. Again, um, the other one I need to look at at a future date. So I couldn't really tell you uh, where one is better than the other because I don't have enough hands-on experience with Yusu Paint, uh, which is one of those things I am going to check out in the future and I'll actually learn what it's called at that point in time. But today what we're looking at is the paint system add-on, a very cool tool in my humble opinion, literally just released completely free. And this one person who gave it a one star rating went against the 99% five stars, oh, sorry, the four star versus the 99% five stars. Well, you gotta be that guy. Uh, it's a really cool app. You can see more of it in action over here in the video. Again, partway through the video, he does show normals right there. So this, but I don't know how to create that node. So you could paint normals with this application. I just unfortunately do not know how to do so. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Paint system, a new, uh, basically Photoshop-esque implementation for Blender. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.